Recently we had a very stark reminder of the importance of sustainability and of the impact of climate change when Hurricane Sandy hit the northeast coast. Uh, we operate the wastewater system in uh, Hoboken, West New York, Union City, and Weehawken, New Jersey, the North Hudson Sewerage Authority. Very hard hit by Hurricane Sandy. Our folks did heroic work to bring that those plants back online and get, get the situation taken care of. But now we're looking at, for the whole New York, New Jersey region, what can we be doing to help with climate change resilience and getting ready for any other extreme weather events? And that is happening all over the world. Going forward, the issue is all about this nexus we've talked a lot about of energy and water and food. Some studies show that each of those areas could have 40% decrement or deficit or shortage. So if we did nothing different, we'd have a 40% shortage in food, water, and energy going for us. So we have to do something different. The challenges are, are tremendous. You can't make energy without water, you can't make water without energy. Food takes both energy and water, they're all connected. When I think about sustainability, it's really hard for me to pick one thing over the other, whether it's environmental or social or economic, because I think they're so intertwined. Now we're seeing communities that we work with, Philadelphia, Onondaga County, New York, Los Angeles, Seattle, uh, all kinds of communities and also private businesses that are taking a look at how they might employ green infrastructure to accomplish even better levels of service and have more of a triple bottom line impact, creating jobs, creating parkland, creating opportunities for people to get outside and be closer to nature, even in a city uh, as densely populated as Singapore, for example, where we've done some great work around green infrastructure. But I think the newest movement of doing holistic approaches, when you build a power plant, you don't just worry about the electricity part, you worry about where you're going to get the water, where you're going to dump the waste, what's the temperature of the water you're putting in. You look at those things first before you site a power plant. That type of holistic approach is really the, I think that's where our value is going to come in over the next decade. So a lot of our projects are really incorporating sustainable components to them and one of our goals in the sustainability program for CH Tom Hill is to really embed that ethic and that way of approaching things in almost everything that we do. For example, at Fayetteville, Arkansas, uh, where we run the wastewater plants, but we also run a nature preserve adjacent to the wastewater plant. And our client, the city of Fayetteville, has been a true partner in all of this, winning awards for sustainability and looking at how we, who are the wastewater managers, can really be integrated into the citywide sustainability program as they market Fayetteville as, as a green destination and uh, as a, a, a very rich quality of life for the people that live there and work there. Um, that's just one of many, many examples. Sort of a holistic approach, actually, instead of fighting with the environment, actually using the environment to do things that have been done handled in an industrial way with lots more pipes and valves, now using nature. Uh, that's pretty exciting to me. Um, and it works. It's a technical solution. It takes technical people like us to do it, so I like that. Here at CH Tome Hill, we do a lot of work with our clients, of course, around sustainability and helping them with their resource needs and with climate change resilience and green infrastructure and lots of good things. But we also feel it's important for us to walk the talk internally. So we have a very robust environmental management system here at CH Tome Hill, a great team of people who helps all of our facilities, our offices, our projects, really walk the talk every day, whether it's uh, looking at air, at air travel and our impact on the environment from, from our carbon footprint, uh, whether it's our commuting, whether it's the use of our facilities with recycling and all kinds of other topics. I think the, the tangential benefits of really being sensitive to sustainable solutions makes us a better company, a better place to work, a, a place we can be proud of in that we're doing what we can for, for the environment and for uh, resources.